What's up everybody? NT Certified here. So last night I went to my local GameStop to pick up the Bayonetta double pack on the Nintendo Switch and they laughed at me for not having it on pre-order. But luckily they had three copies and I came home and I put Bayonetta on my Nintendo shelf. So I just happened to take a look at you know the lineup of games that I had on my Switch and the games that I've purchased recently on my Switch. I know a lot of people have been talking about Nintendo in 2018 and the game lineup that's coming out being kind of light. Uh, so the I guess the real question is can Nintendo keep the momentum going into 2018? So this video is going to be about the Nintendo 2018 release lineup. We're going to take a look at the Nintendo site and look at the lineup of games and we're going to assess just how successful Nintendo can be in my opinion. Let's go. Alright guys, before we begin, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the Certified Club. We do multiple videos a week. We do wrestling, we do video games, we do streams, we do toy collections, we do everything else in between. Become a part of the movement. Click that subscribe button. I mean, we had Zelda and we had Super Mario Odyssey in the same year. Perfect 10 games. Two perfect 10 games in the same year. That's a tough spot for Nintendo. Looking into the future of the, you know the rest of 2018 are there any games that could be anywhere near perfect tens in the switch lineup let's take a look all right everyone so we are on the official nintendo site we are in the coming soon page of the site and they have everything listed that's coming out so far this year in 2018 so looking across this top list of games, we have Old Man's Journey, Puzzle Puppers, Layers of Fear, uh, another Neo Geo title, and Ace of Seafood. Looking at this first list, I think the only game that's really going to possibly stand out is Layers of Fear because that was a release uh, on Steam. It also released on PS4 and I believe Xbox One. Uh, it was a decent game. But it, it's definitely not a major release, so you're probably not going to see much out of that. Uh, Dragon Sinker, Membrane, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 Plus, Radiation Island, and Space Cats with Lasers. I'm not seeing anything special out of those games either, but I can say that Nintendo is definitely, definitely doing some good things with the indie developers, you know, getting some games out there. Uh, I, I did read that they have three times the games that the Wii U had at this point in its lifetime, which is a really big deal. So kudos to Nintendo for getting those games out. Okay, we have uh, Super Ola and the Lost Burgers. We have Typo Man, uh, Toki Tori 2. Twin Robots Ultimate Edition and Payday. So Payday is actually the first indication that there's going to be like some type of semi-major release coming out uh, very very soon. It actually comes out in just over a week on the 27th of February and Payday 2 uh, was a decent game. It was a decent game. Uh, you are uh, bank robbers, you go in and you rob stores, you rob banks, you rob malls, and you try to get out with the cash, you know, before the cops can get there, or you fight your way through the cops to get away with the cash. I didn't think it was that great of a game when I had it on Xbox One. Uh, I'm not going to rebuy it on the Nintendo Switch, but I am happy that they have uh, sort of a major, an another major game coming for the switch at some point early this year so i think it's a it's a good idea to have it on the switch I'm not sure how much is actually going to sell on the switch i really don't think it's going to sell that well on nintendo switch but i could be wrong who knows we have detention uh mulaka 
subsurface circular totes the goats and super toy cars so another five independent games on the nintendo switch uh they are really trying to get the content out there all right here we go so we have uh scribble knots showdown which is actually exciting actually because i think scribble knots is a really unique game it's really good i know the wii u version was actually pretty unique because you can you could type in you know and, and create different things and it, it was very unique in itself especially using the wii u gamepad but the switch also has a gamepad so i'm wondering how that's going to transition over into the switch and how they're going to improve on that because scribble knots is actually a pretty decent game so that's a good choice for the switch uh the long reach we have manticore galaxy on fire splatoon 2 starter edition which i'm not sure is different from the original version but it is the same price and then we have kirby star allies which is probably the biggest game that's coming out uh like in the first second quarter of the switch this year on 2018 I haven't played a Kirby game myself in so many years, so I'm super excited to pick this game up and play it and possibly do some multiplayer with some friends. Kentucky Route Zero, Light Fingers, next up Hero. Okay, now we're talking. All right, so early May, we have Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. And this is a game that a lot of people kind of complained about. And they're like, okay, why are you bringing a ported Donkey Kong over to the Nintendo Switch? Can't we just get a new Donkey Kong? Well. Tropical Freeze was an amazing game, okay? It got great reviews, great ratings. If anything, this is the game that's going to give, you know, I can't say that. It's not going to give Breath of the Wild a run for its money, and it's not going to give Odyssey a run for its money. But it's definitely going to get high scores on the Switch, especially with the improved graphics engine and stuff like that. But that that is probably the biggest title that's coming out and then a few weeks after that dark souls remastered comes out and that's probably going to be amazing as well dark souls is one of those classic classic titles and who knows if it does well on the switch maybe we'll get dark souls 2 uh, maybe dark souls 3 if the switch can handle it the possibilities are truly endless but that is an awesome third party title to have on the Nintendo Switch and I think both of those games are going to do very well. In the case of Donkey Kong, uh, a lot of people didn't get a chance to play Donkey Kong because a lot of people didn't buy Nintendo Wii U's. So I think it makes sense to bring Tropical Freeze over to the Switch and try to gain some additional uh, market share. And it's, so Spring of 18, now the rest of these games are games that don't have solid release dates. And things start to look a little bit better, okay? We have Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, another port over from the Wii U. And I know some of you are complaining, here we are with another port. But same as with Donkey Kong. A game that was really, really good. A lot of people liked it, but a lot of people didn't get a chance to play it because they didn't purchase Wii U's. So bringing that game over to the Switch actually adds a lot to the switch and it's going to make a lot of the wii u users that have switches very very happy to play those through spring 18 we have mario tennis aces this is a game that was actually shown during one of the most recent nintendo directs it's actually going to be it, it looks good it looks good that i mean that's that's what i can say about it is that it looks like a decent game uh street fighter 30th anniversary collection Street Fighter 2 was apparently a success on the Switch, and Capcom seemed happy with it, so now we're going to get a Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection that's going to have multiple games on the same game cartridge, so a Street Fighter 2 could sell. I'm sure this game is going to do even better. Uh, very excited to pick it up. I am not a big Street Fighter fan, but I'm going to buy it anyway because when I hand off my Switch and I let people play it, Street Fighter is usually one of the first games that they play, so I think I have to pick that up for the Nintendo Switch for 40 bucks. Then we have uh, SNK Heroines for 
summer of 2018 tag team frenzy so the women of snk are getting their own game and it's gonna be a fighter and i'm pretty sure it's gonna have a cult following so it's gonna be exciting to take a look at that and, and see what that's all about we have steep to be determined for the nintendo switch the winter extreme sports game that wasn't amazing it was okay it wasn't amazing so I'm not sure if it's actually going to do anything on the Switch itself, but it's another third-party title on the system. We have Project Op Octopath Traveler, which I actually played the demo and I thought was pretty unique in and of itself. So there's a lot of potential there, especially for um, a new big RPG franchise, I believe, with Octopath Traveler. Really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen there. Also in 2018, we have uh, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, which I have on PS4. I haven't finished it on PS4 because I spend less time sitting in front of my TV and I carry my Switch with me and I spend more time in front of my Switch screen than I do my PS4 screen lately. So having Wolfenstein 2 on the go is actually going to work out for me. I'm going to pick up this game when it comes out once we get a release date for it i'm very excited about it hopefully you know it doesn't have any lag um and, and it runs smoothly on the switch i'm hoping that it does but that is probably gonna that's that's the biggest third party title that nintendo has for 2018 and i believe that it possibly could sell but i think it was sort of underwhelming even on the major consoles so that leaves a lot of question for the success of the switch version we have another super meat boy this is super meat boy forever the last one actually got amazing reviews i have never played a super meat boy game but i'm thinking about picking up the the most recent copy and i'm not sure what super meat boy forever means if it's like a double pack or an enhanced version of the original, I'm not sure. And then the last few games we have The World Ends With You, Final Remix, which we saw a little bit of um, a couple months ago, Yoku's Island Express, War Groove, and lastly, we have Yoshi for the Switch. So of all the games on this list of games that could be decent, so the Yoshi game looks super unique. So for this game, it, it, it he looks fuzzy. He looks like a, a little like a like a teddy bear in the game, like the yarn games used to be. But this game, you could actually go into the forefront of the level, but also switch to the background of the level, which is different and and un unheard of in a Yoshi game and and most games actually, because there aren't games out there that actually do that. So it's different and it's going to stand out and it's going to add a different element to the gameplay. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do with a new Yoshi title in 2018. That's my pick for Sleeper Hit for the Nintendo Switch for 2018. So those are the titles that are official for the Nintendo Switch in 2018. But that's not to say that they're not going to announce additional games you know, prior to E3 and possibly after E3. I'm sure Nintendo has a lot up their sleeves for this year's Electronics Expo. And there's a lot of question marks out there, games that people want to see that we have not heard anything about yet, including Metroid. Like Metroid is just hanging out there and we know it's coming, we just don't know when it's coming. It could be Christmas of 2018 a lot of people are saying that it's going to be 2019 but we will see but that is the biggest question mark out there right now and I can't wait to hear something about it looking at the games that are announced thus far I think the switch is going to do more than okay uh, for 2018 especially seeing that it's still early in the year and Nintendo likes to keep things up their sleeve and keep them hidden so I'm quite sure Nintendo has something big in the plans and these games that are announced so far are gonna do more than just hold Nintendo over through the first half of the year so I'm actually pretty excited for 
the Switch in 2018. And even though I don't see a Breath of the Wild or a Mario Odyssey, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, you can't knock it out of the park, perfect knock out of the park all the time. And, and I'm okay with that. So in conclusion, this is NT Certified. I do want to thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe. Become a part of the Certified Club. Peace.